Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's clip, I'll show you two ways that you can fast charge your DJI Mini 2 batteries to get you out the door and up in the sky as quickly as possible. Now, I love the Mini 2. I talk about it all the time on the channel. It's one of my favorite quads to bring along because it's small, it's portable, it's spontaneous. I can quickly power it up, put it up in the air and capture a beautiful photo or some video of a lake maybe that I haven't been to before at sunset. But the biggest hassle with the Mini 2 <laughs> is the charging of the batteries in the controller. It just takes forever because there's no fast way to charge these batteries. And if you're like me, you're probably constantly watching the weather for the perfect fly day. And maybe it's a Saturday morning and it's going to be beautifully sunny skies and very low wind. And you're thinking, man, that's the day. I'm going to take the Mini 2 out and fly. So you get up early on Saturday morning. You start packing up your bag and you realize, I haven't charged the batteries. And then you're going to take hours rotating these through the quad. Now, if you bought the quad on its own without the fly more combo, that's exactly what you have to do. Battery by battery has to go in the quad. You got to charge it in there, keep an eye on it to make sure that it's fully charged. When that one's done, pull it out, pop another one in, and it takes forever. So as you're charging those batteries, you're watching the sun slowly start to set. Maybe the clouds are moving in and the day is shot. So I was looking for a way to actually fast charge these. Now, if you bought the fly more combination, you actually got this beautiful charging hub, which does an amazing job of charging these batteries inside the hub. It's really a brilliant device that'll check the capacity of the batteries versus how much has been used, and it'll decide which batteries start charging first. The challenge with the charging hub, though, is because it's intelligent and you're using a standard charger with it, it can only charge one battery at a time. So it's what's called a serial charger, where it'll look for the battery that needs the least amount of charge, it'll charge that guy first. Then when that's finished, it'll look for the battery that needs the least amount of charge next, and it'll charge that one. And then it'll move on to the third one. And even though that works really well and it's a safe way to charge your batteries, it could take a long time, especially if the batteries are depleted. So we were looking for a way to move to a parallel charger that would actually charge all the batteries at the same time, which would mean I can cut that time down to a third or even smaller, depending on the capacity of the battery and how much it's been discharged. So we've been searching for the last couple of weeks and have found two chargers, one for the home and one for the car, that we've tested extensively. And I've tested these against other chargers to make sure they've got all the protections built in that aren't going to damage my batteries. They're over current protection, over voltage protection. They even have temperature sensors in them. So if you're in the middle of a summer and you decide it's a good time to charge your batteries in the Arizona desert at 105 degrees, it's not going to let you damage your battery. So they're smart and they're parallel chargers, which means, again, I can connect in this case up to four and in this case up to two at the same time. All of those batteries are getting the same amount of current. They're also getting the tension from the electronics inside to look at the four batteries in this case to say, all four batteries need a different level of charge. I'm going to charge all of them individually, not just one big master charger that's firing electrons at a battery. It's looking at all four of them. So it's almost like you've got four chargers built into this one and two chargers built into that one. So I'm going to start with the home charger and explain how that works. It's a wonderful product because it's modular as well. I love that. So the charger looks like this and it comes with these beautiful connectors, right? So the connectors pop on, depending on how many batteries you have, you can actually charge up the four batteries at the same time. And on the end of the connectors, they've actually got a custom plug that fits onto the mini two batteries with a little dust cover, which is great. So if you're going to only charge two batteries, you can keep the other two in your bag and you put the dust cover on them. You're not going to have any issues, but you can plug all four of these and charge four batteries at the same time. So let me show you how to do that. Let me get the controller out of the way. Let me get these batteries out of the hub. And I love this hub. I'm not picking on the hub, but it's just not the quickest way to charge the batteries. All right. So I've got an AC cord, but it comes with an AC cord as well. And an instruction manual. If you need instructions on how to charge the batteries, essentially you're going to plug the charger in. And when you do that, it's going to start a power on self-test internally. It's going to check to make sure all the electronics and circuitry is working fine. And if it does pass that test, all these lights will come on green, which means there are no batteries connected and the charger is working. Now, let me plug in the first battery here. So I'll disconnect this dust cap on the top and I'll slide this over the battery. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is the charger is immediately going to look at this battery and say, how much of a charge does it need? And let me start firing electrons at it safely to charge it as quickly as possible, but as safely as possible. And it turns out light red, which means that battery connected to that port is in the process of charging. And I can do the same thing with two more batteries. So I've got three batteries here in front of me. Let me connect up the second one. And the same thing will happen. And again, the cool thing is it's not one intelligent uh, controller in there. It's four separate controllers. So it's looking at each of the batteries individually. So for example, if this first battery I plugged in only needed a 10% charge, it would charge it as fast and as safely as possible. But when it hit the 10% mark and it was fully charged, that would turn green. So all you have to do is plug all your batteries in, set this thing down. Now, of course, keep them with an eye shot because they're light bulb batteries. You don't want to charge them unattended, but keep an eye on them. And when you see all the lights go green, you know they're fully charged. And the best part about this is if I'm only charging two batteries, it, it isn't going to affect the other ones. This has 
8.8 volts because the batteries are 7.7 .7 volts. This will put out 8.8 .8 volts to charge them safely, which is exactly the recommended voltage to charge them at a full two amps. So it's almost like you had four DJI Mini 2s sitting on a table with two amp chargers charging all four of them individually. It's all done inside this little product. So again, I can connect up a third one here. It'll do the same thing where it goes to the power on self-test. And again, you can connect them to any port you want, which is pretty cool. So here's the third one. You plug that guy in. Now, these guys are thirsty. I was out flying with them today. So they're definitely waiting for a charge. Just be gentle when you plug it in. There's the third one where we're at. So these are going to charge. And when they're finished, all three lights are going to go green. Now that'd be cool enough if that's where it ended. But they also built in two USB-A ports over here that'll each deliver an amp and a half of current, which is pretty impressive. So if you've got a controller to charge like this one, and you've got the right cable for it, it's USB-A in this end here, plug that guy in, whoops, backwards, of course. Never works that way, right? 50% chance I always get it backwards. Anyway, I'll plug this in over here. Now watch closely. It'll fast charge the controller at the same time. So you've got up to four batteries charging and a controller charging. It doesn't stop there. There's actually another connector right there where you can connect another USB cable up here and you can charge anything you need to. Again, 50% chance I get it wrong every time. All right, the second one, you can plug in a phone, a tablet, I don't know, something else you wanna charge when you're charging at home that you're gonna take with you for the day. Now, the cool thing is you can use the cables that came with the product. So if you have a cable handy, charge anything you wanna charge. It's a standard USB-A on that end. This is a USB-C on the charger end, but your phone might be an Apple connector. It might be an older micro USB connector for some Androids, or it could be USB-C like this one. We also sell the charger. I'm gonna talk about the website in a second, but we sell the charger. We also offer this universal cable, which is pretty cool. It's USB-A in this end, and it comes with two adapters. So the USB-C, is the normal cable that you can use to charge a controller, but it comes with a micro USB cable adapter and an Apple cable adapter where you just basically pop it on the end like that. Because I use an iPhone when I'm flying or an iPad, I can charge my iPad, my controller, and four batteries simultaneously, which is pretty amazing. This will also work in your car if you have an AC outlet in your car. So you can take this with you in the field and you can use it to recharge your batteries between locations um, You know when you're out there flying. All right, so that's the home charger, which I think is pretty amazing. And now I'll talk about the car charger, which is essentially the same thing, but for your car. Now, the car doesn't have as much current as the home charger will have. It has two connectors on it. Let me get this guy out of the way again. So again, standard uh, outlet for your car here. You plug it in the car, you're good to go. You'll find that on the end of it, you've got two custom connectors here, so I can charge two batteries simultaneously. Now, I've got a power supply over here. This is a great power supply I take with me in the field a lot. And it allows me to connect up sort of anything that's 12 volt there. And I'll connect this up to the batteries. Now notice there's a green light right there. Watch what happens when I plug the battery in. Same thing. The internal electronics check the battery to see what kind of charge it needs. Once it does that handshake and determines how much current it needs and how it can charge it safely and quickly, it turns red. So you know immediately that the battery is being charged. You can connect the second one up. So here's the second battery. And again, that one comes on. And again, that second circuit in there looks at that second battery and says, okay, between those two batteries, I'm firing the electrons they need to charge them up fully. When they're done, that light will turn green. So you know you're done for the day. So you can charge one, you can charge two. And I love this because a lot of times you're out flying and you're having such a great day. And all of a sudden you realize, I got plenty of day left, but I don't have a lot of batteries left. So you're like, ah, I gotta go home and charge my batteries. If you have this with you in the car, between locations, pop it in the lighter adapter, put it on the floor next to you, charge up a battery, and when you get to the next location, if it's far enough away, you can actually have a fresh battery to fly. Now, charging times are gonna vary, right? It's sort of like gas mileage. Uh, the average battery, if you deplete it down to 25%, it's about 40 minutes of charge time on here. If you take it all the way down to 5%, which I never recommend doing, it's about 50 minutes. So a fully depleted or almost fully depleted battery is still less than an hour times four. So you can have four batteries charged in an hour. You can have two batteries charged in an hour over here. So they're pretty amazing products. In addition to these two adapters, there's also a USB-A right here. So again, if you've got that same cable, and again, if you have your own cables, use them. But if you need them, we have these universal cables. You can plug in the USB-A right here. Let's see if I get it right this time. Wow, one out of three, all right. And you can plug in the controller here. So what you're doing essentially is charging both batteries and the controller at the same time. Now, if you have one of our universal cables like this, you can actually charge the, oops, I pulled it back out. You can actually charge the controller. You can charge two batteries at the same time. And if you use one of our universal cables, say it's fast charging, you can actually use that cable to charge your, your iPhone, or if you've got an Android micro USB, you can charge it with that as well. So on the website, because we like these so much, and every time we find a product we love, we offer it on the Draw Valley website. This, these are two products that we just brought in. I brought a bunch of them in. So if you're interested in these, I've got links below where you can go to the Drone Valley website. You can check them out. 
We've got this one in stock, plenty of them. We got this one in stock, plenty of them. I have plenty of the universal cables as well. So decide what you need. If you have any questions at all, drop those in the comments below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. I love checking out products like this because unlike a lot of, um, a lot of channels out there that just want to review products all the time, we really have to test them. Our guys go out in the field and believe me, there were three or four other products we tested in this category that just didn't cut it because they didn't have the overcurrent protection. They didn't have the over voltage protection. I love the thermal protection on this one as well. But when we find one we like, we'll put it up on the website and then you know you're buying it from somebody that's tested it. We'll stand behind it. If you have questions or problems later on, we're not going anywhere. So you can get a hold of a real person that can answer the questions you've got on the product. So if you find these to be valuable and you need a fast way to charge your Mini 2 batteries, these are wonderful solutions. And again, we stand behind them. So thanks an awful lot for watching. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button down there because we have a ton more clips coming. I've got four or five this week that are going to post and just a whole lot of fun stuff happening. So you definitely want to be part of it and join the Drone Valley family. And that's pretty much it for today. So thanks again for watching. Until next time, happy flying.